To simplify more complex expressions involving indices, it's often necessary to use more than one index law. If we look at this first expression, we can see we're multiplying terms with the same base in the numerator, and we have a final division to do. If we think back to our two index laws regarding multiplication and division, we know that when multiplying numbers with the same base, we add the powers. And if we're dividing numbers with the same base, we subtract the powers. So if we look at this first expression, we can simplify the numerator as follows. 5 times 4 is 20. Then a to the 7 times a would be a to the power 7 plus 1, or a to the power 8. And we divide that by 10, a to the power 5. We can also simplify the coefficients. So 10 goes into 10 once and into 20 twice leaving us with 2 a to the 8 divided by a to the power 5. When we're dividing terms with the same base, we subtract the powers, and a to the power 8 to take 5 would be a to the power 3. So this expression simplifies to 2 a to the power 3 rather than writing out a to the power 8 take 5, we can also see that a to the power 5 divides into a to the power 8, leaving a to the power 3. So we could do this by cancelling as well. If we look at this second expression, it's very similar, but there's a negative in the numerator as well. So 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. a squared times a to the power 5 is a to the power 2 plus 5. We can simplify the 24 divided by 9 as 3 goes into 9 3 times and into 24 8 times, leaving us with negative 8 a to the power 7 over 3 a to the power 4, which further simplifies by dividing a to the power 4 into a to the power 7, or a to the power 7 take 4 leaves us with a to the power 3. So this expression simplifies as negative 8 a to the power 3 over 3. If there are any brackets in expressions, it's recommended that these be removed first before applying any other index laws. So we can see here that we have x squared raised to the power 3. When we have a term already raised to a power and we raise it to a power again, we multiply the powers. So the numerator becomes negative 2 x to the power 2 times 3 or x to the power 6 times 4 x squared and we divide that by 16 x to the power 8. If we simplify the numerator, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, and x to the power 6 times x to the power 2 is x to the power 6 plus 2, or x to the power 8. Eight goes into eight once, and into 16 twice. And we can see that x to the power 8 will divide into x to the power 8 once. So this expression simplifies to negative a half. In this expression we have brackets as well as terms being raised to the power 0. So if we look at the numerator, x squared to the power of 0 would just be 1. So the numerator for this fraction becomes 6 times 1 times y to the 7, or 6y to the 7. The second fraction, the numerator is 8x squared y, and if we look at the denominator, we have x, y to the power 2, all raised to the power of 0. So this is just 1. So in the denominator we have 4 times 1, or 4. 
If we simplify each fraction first, we find 3 goes into 6 twice and into 9 3 times. And y cubed will divide into y to the power 7, leaving y to the power 7 take 3 or y to the power 4. So the first fraction simplifies to 2 y to the power 4 over 3. If we look at the second fraction, 4 will divide into 4 once and into 8 twice. So this becomes 2x squared y over 1. It's easier to leave it over 1 at this point to do the final multiplication, which is 2 times 2 is 4 times x squared times y to the power 4 times y, or y to the power 4 plus 1, which is y to the power 5. And then the denominator, we have 3 times 1, which is equal to 3.